Welcome back to Geology in 5. Today, we're diving into hotspots. You might have heard about them while learning about volcanic islands like Hawaii, but do you know how they form and why they create island chains? Let's explore. To understand hotspots, we need to take a quick look beneath Earth's surface. The Earth's interior has several layers, but the ones we're interested in are the crust, the mantle, and the core. And hotspots are born from processes deep within the mantle. Think of the mantle as a solid layer that behaves like a very slow moving fluid. In certain areas, heat from the Earth's core builds up, creating these rising columns of hot buoyant material. These are what we call mantle plumes. Unlike tectonic activity along plate boundaries, which involves plates moving or colliding, hotspots are caused by these mantle plumes. As the plume rises, the pressure decreases, and this causes the rock to partially melt into magma. Eventually, this magma forces its way up through weaknesses in the crust, erupting to form volcanoes. And here's where the island formation comes in. As the magma erupts and cools, it builds up land above sea level, creating volcanic islands. With repeated eruptions, these islands grow larger over time. The Hawaiian Islands are the perfect example of hotspots forming islands, and they do so in a very specific way. Hotspots themselves don't move. Earth's tectonic plates do. So, as the Pacific Plate moves on a stationary hotspot, a chain of volcano islands form. Each time the plate shifts, a new volcano begins to form over the plume, while older volcanoes drift away. And that is why the Hawaiian Islands form a chain, with the youngest island sitting directly above the hotspot today, and older ones stretching out to the northwest. But Hawaii isn't alone. Other famous hotspots include Yellowstone in the United States and Iceland, which sits right on the boundary between the North American and Eurasian plates. Iceland's location combines hotspot volcanism with plate boundary activity, creating even more geological drama. Now, not all hotspots behave in the same way. Some produce gentle shield volcanoes with flowing lava, like Hawaii, while others can create explosive eruptions, especially if they interact with tectonic boundaries, as seen in Iceland. So, to recap, hotspots form due to rising plumes of hot mantle material. When this material reaches the crust, it creates volcanoes. As tectonic plates move over these plumes, they leave behind a trail of volcanic islands, like the Hawaiian Islands. Each volcanic island tells part of Earth's story, showing how our planet's inner heat shapes its surface. And that's how hotspots create volcanic islands. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more quick geology breakdowns. Have a topic you'd like us to cover next? Drop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.